Okay, so I'm going to explain how to hook up this Telepack VEDX LED system to a rigid scope. So all I did so far was turn the power button on. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a flash drive and plug it into the side port of the unit. Without that flash drive, you're not going to be able to take pictures or video. So um, there's no internal memory. So once you see that it's connected, then you press the red, the right green arrow and you want to go to new patient. Once I hit enter, this comes up and with a keyboard, you can plug in all the information. I don't have the keyboard connected, so I'm just going to click the OK button. Once I do that, all these icons uh, come live on the right, and those are what let you take pictures and video, among other things. So the next piece you're gonna need is an adapter, and I'm using a 495 SON to plug in a rigid scope system. Uh, the reason you need that is this is set up for our video endoscopes, the flexible scopes, so it's a slightly different fitting. So if you don't have the 495 SON, the 200, 300, 30 also works, which is a black adapter that's circular and has an airport valve as well. So this will go into the larger of the two holes. You push it all the way in until it clicks. Then the male end of the uh, light source, the light cable, will plug right into there, into the adapter. And then this piece here, while you're grabbing the other items, you can just screw onto there and that holds, your pl holds it in place while you're grabbing other items. So the next thing you're gonna need is the camera head. And the camera head has this card edge to it and you're gonna plug this card edge right into that port right there. Once you do that, you're gonna have your live image up on screen and then you're gonna take your rigid scope with a standard eyepiece, you rotate this black ring and put the eyepiece inside, let it go. So now just check, make sure it's in there. And then now you can take your light cable and that screws right onto the post. And this first button here is your light source. So I'm gonna turn that up. I'm gonna just run it at 100%, but it does get warm. So if it's a, a live animal, you wanna turn it down you know, to maybe 25%. And then the next button is your white balance. So you're gonna point it at something white and then press and release the button. So you're gonna see this. And after I press that, it's gonna look much whiter. So you're basically telling the camera what white is. That way all the colors are correct. The next button is your air pump, and that's for GI endoscopy, and sometimes they use it in uh, transcervical insemination uh, cases, but for most rigid cases, you're not gonna use that. This is a zoom, it's a digital zoom. Two times, it uh, doubles the size of the image. And then this next button, it gets rid of your icons. So if they're bothering you, you can turn those off. Okay, then obviously you can take a picture with that button. This is a freeze button. This is the video start and stop. This is a microphone and that's used for stroboscopy, which we're not doing here. This will review your current case and this reviews all the cases that are on that flash drive. So with that said, if I wanna take a picture, I've pre-programmed these buttons. So if I push and release the blue button, then this uh, recorder is going to start. So that's indicated by an orange video camera. And I can still take pictures and by pressing the silver button and it freezes the image on the screen. Okay. And so that's how you know you took a picture. I just took another one. And then I can stop the video again by either pressing that button or pressing the number one button. Okay. And the way that you program your buttons is you use your arrow key to come over to settings 
and go to down to external control device, camera head buttons, and then primary blue means push and release the blue. Secondary blue means push and hold it. So you can program them to do different things and you just go over one further, it has a check mark next to the one that you've programmed it to. And then once you get them all where you want them saved, you come back here to the presets and then choose the one you want and then choose overwrite. Once you do overwrite, it'll save those settings. You can give it a name and hit okay. That's it.